you are a Windows user, maybe using Windows 7, maybe using Windows XP, and you have thought about trying out an operating system based on Linux, but how do you get started? Maybe you heard about Linux on my channel, Total OS Today. Maybe you saw it installed on a friend's computer, or maybe you're just curious. You would like to try it, but you don't know how. You're afraid if you do it on your own, you might accidentally delete or trash the operating system that you have, or maybe just break something. So how do you get started? Well, this is what this video is all about. I dual boot. I use both Windows, Windows 7, Windows XP, and variations of Linux such as Linux Mint, Zorin, Ubuntu, stuff like that. So I will present this video in three parts rather than making one long video, you know, too long, monotonous, and maybe boring. I think it's best to uh, split it up, keep it lively, and maybe keep your attention. So let's begin with the first part which is preparation now I will call this the complete Linux Mint install guide the complete Linux Mint install tutorial either way presented to you in three parts the first part today and hopefully when all is said and done you will be able to download and install your brand new Linux Mint operating system and who knows you may like it better than Windows or if you're like me you like and enjoy using both okay the first part will be preparation this is what this is what I will show you today and this will be a pre-install checklist this is what I use in my brain to install various versions of Linux usually without any issues the second part will be the installation or how to install it Finally, it will be the last part, the Linux Mint desktop itself, dealing with looks, navigation, updating, how to use it, so on and so forth. All right, let's get to the pre-install checklist. Number one, of course, you will need a computer PC or a laptop. Number two, preferably a computer that has a DVD burner. Yes, a CD burner will work. DVD is preferable. Number three, of course, you will need a blank DVD disc. Number four, you will need a machine that's at least rated at one gigahertz with a one gigahertz processor or more. Yes, you can do with less, not recommended. Number five, your machine should have at least one gigabyte of RAM or more. Yes, you can do it less, it'll work. I don't recommend it. Number six, you will need high speed internet to download your brand new operating system. Yes, you can use dial up if that's all you have, but by the time you download the operating system, you could have gone to vacation in Europe twice and come back to the States. If you don't have high speed, maybe go to a friend's house, neighbor, someone that has, that has high speed to download the operating system, it will be free. Number seven, download a piece of free software called uTorrent. Number eight, download Infra Recorder or Image Burn software to actually burn the software to a DVD. Number nine, download the MD5 file verifier. If you're lost, don't worry, I will explain this in part two of this installation guide. And number 10, avoid alphas, betas, and RCs. If you don't know what those mean, they mean this. They are to be avoided. And if you think I'm kidding, why don't you download an alpha, beta, one or two or three of those, install it, and let me know how much fun you have. Haha. Ha. Okay. This is it. This is going to be your pre-install checklist of what I would like you to do if you're interested in trying Linux for the very first time. I will up upload this portion of the three-part series. Get this ready to go. Download it in part two. 
we will go through together and I will show you the installation process and how I install successfully various versions of Linux and in this case it will be Linux Mint. Alright guys and girls that's it for this screencast of Total OS today and as always I will catch you sometime in the Linux future. Thanks for watching. Bye.